This is truly a time for reflection. What are you reflecting about? My past, my present. A lot's going on over there, huh? Today we're trying skincare from the 1950s. I feel like skincare has gotten so like overwhelming as the time goes. Back then they probably kept it pretty OG, kept it pretty simple. I feel like in the 50s it was either don't get wrinkles or don't get acne. Is it, what is the phrase? Cleanliness is godliness? Yes. Like rub, scrub, it, dump your face, scrub it. Same principles probably exist, people just wanting to look mm -hmm. their best, but I think we've just gotten a lot more fussy about it. The only thing I think of when I think of the 1950s is cold cream, which I do use to this day. <gasps> cold cream! I love cold cream. I use cold cream every single night. It's a very grandma thing to do, but that's the type of person I am. So I know from my mom that she used to use like olive oil to take her eye makeup off. But again, I think that might just be a Sharon Lytle thing and not like a 1950s thing. Yeah, there probably was a mom who was just like, well, I use Jell-O to get my makeup off. <laughs> yeah. Another mom who was just like, mm, you probably should use cold cream instead. Another one's like, I bathe in milk. <laughs> yeah. Instead of taking off just our eye makeup, apparently we have to take off everything with cold cream. Okay, I've done that. You have? Yeah, I've, I've, I've dabbled in just putting it everywhere just to speed up the process, you know. Whenever I see people in movies putting on cold cream, I'm mm -hmm. always just like, mm, girl, your T-zone hates you. Okay, so I have a theory that cold cream doesn't actually take off all your makeup. I already see it working. What? I see it at work. How do you see it work? Because it's spreading around the foundation. Really? Yeah, it's at work. How did our mothers do it, though? There's still a fair amount of makeup coming off my face. I'm not gonna look at that white. Okay. <laughs> so our first skincare tip is from Audrey Hepburn. Ooh. She used to steam her face. Steam her face. To open up her pores. All right, so we're just gonna hide under here for a while. When Audrey Hepburn says steam your face, you steam your damn face. That's right. I wish I was just kind of like steaming naked right now. I just wish I was naked right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I do feel great though. So the next skincare tip from the 1950s is to actually submerge your face in hot water. Do you have a shower cap? Marilyn Monroe was the person who came up with this bad boy tip. I understood steaming your pores. I really don't understand putting your face in hot water other than a torture tactic. So we just dip our whole little faces in there? It's too hot. <laughs> This is too hot, I can't do it. I don't know why this is so hard for me. I've taken baths before, I've How? taken showers, I've swam. I don't, I don't know why I'm all of a sudden unable to have my face we're underwater. big babies. <laughs> I do feel like this is some kind of weird baptism of new skin. We are gonna now wash our faces with bar soap because that's what they did in the 50s and this is the brand that Jackie Onassis used. I'm on board with that. She's yeah. a classy lady. It's $45 of soap, man. Yeah, you gotta be precious with that. I haven't used a bar of soap since I was five. I feel like my grandma would've looked at this and been like, my soap with eight soaps pressed together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I have to splash my face 20 times. <laughs> 20 times. 20 times. <laughs> Not 19. Splash yourself in the face 20 times. Until you go insane. One, two. Okay, well I definitely feel clean. Devin keeps trying to get I out of doing it 20 times. Well, I think I feel clean. Well, I feel good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Devin, you still have 10 more times to go. I don't want to do it. I'm like a cat. <laughs> my, my skin hasn't felt this clean in a long time. My entire body is covered in water, but my skin is doing fantastic. We are rounding out this whole regiment with this eight hour cream. Soothe dry hands and smooth cuticles and nails. This is like basically the Windex of moisturizers. Yeah, it feels like we're about to be rubbing Blistex all over our skin. It feels like lip gloss all over your face. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to describe it. This is quite greasy. This is quite oily. It smells like something that your mom would slap on your chest when you have a cold. <laughs> yeah. But then again, they smoked cigarettes a lot back then. <laughs> Definitely not something I would do every day. I would do it on like a cold winter's night. The 50s, man. <laughs> Crazy times. Crazy times to be alive. Yeah, there are a lot of steps, but I feel good. Like, I think my face feels like mm -hmm. it was worth all the effort. I feel refreshed. Yeah. I feel revitalized. So 1950s skincare, lady tested. Lady approved. Lady approved. What they also did back then, get this, was to put cold cream on as a primer. 
Got no. it. Nope. Got to no. draw the line somewhere. <laughs> I am done with that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Lady Light. If you'd like to see more of us, click there and subscribe to our channel. Or take off these covers because none of us are wearing pants. Ow! <laughs>